And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we are going to now preview the early window games uh, for Sunday. I'll go through all of them. I'll give you my predictions. And, uh, yeah, so let's get right into that. So we'll start off with, uh, we'll go to Pittsburgh and Green Bay first. So this game will be played in Pittsburgh. Uh, these two teams met a couple of uh, a couple years ago. Uh, very different quarterback matchup from the last time they met. Uh, instead of Aaron Rodgers and Ben Roethlisberger, we will be getting Kenny Pickett versus Jordan Love. Uh, right now, the Steelers, and I'm looking on CBS, uh, right now the Steelers are three-point favorites. Um, the Packers coming off of a well, both teams coming off of a win. Uh, Steelers winning on Thursday night against the Titans. Packers coming off of a win against the Rams. Um, both offenses aren't great, uh, you know. I, I mean, for me, that's another game where I'm, like, taking the points. Um, I think the Packers could at least keep it close. Both teams, again, j- similar to last night, both teams are going to, you know, struggle to, uh, you know, score points in this game. Um, I, I mean, I don't feel great about it. I really don't. Uh, but, you know what, I, I think the game stays close. But I'm going to say the Steelers still win this game. I, I look at them as the better team. Um, and I think ultimate, and, and it's weird because ultimately, when the money is, when all the chips are on the table, uh, Kenny Pickett f- just wakes up and uh, you know, and plays really well in the fourth quarter. So you know, I, I think we might see another one of those scenarios. And I, but I, I think this game is going to be, you know, is going to be close. Um, so I'm going to take the other uh, Packers with the points, but I think the Steelers win this game. So uh, that's my prediction for that. Uh, well, actually, I should have started off with the uh, the Germany game, and I'm pretty sure I said I was going to do that. Uh, so we'll get into that um, right now. So you got the four and five Indianapolis Colts taking on the two and seven New England Patriots. Uh, this could be Bill Belichick's last game as the head coach of the Patriots. No, I, I, that's not happening. I I really I, I'm going to be I really would be shocked if that happens. But I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. But what do I know? I mean, listen, the Patriots got to be, I mean, the Patriots are frustrated with what's going on. But, I mean, you don't let Bill Belichick finish out the season? That'd be wild. That would be wild if that, if that ends up happening. But I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, Patriots 2-7, and seven, Colts 4-5. and five. Right now the Patriots are uh, two-point underdogs in this game. Um the over-under is 43. The Colts look like the better team. Colts look like the better team. And I, I think they, with their ground attack, um, you know, Gardner Minshew has been okay for them, you know, replacing Anthony Richardson. Patriots just don't look good right now. Um, I, I can't really I can't really trust them. Uh, so I'm going to take the Colts in this game to win outright and cover. Uh, so, yeah. That's uh, my prediction there, and that get that would get them back to five hundred. Patriots would be two and eight. When when did you? I mean, when have you ever? When did you think you would ever see that? The Patriots being two and eight if that happens. I mean, three and seven, it's, they win. That's still not great. This team is on their way to losing twelve games this year. Um, so now we move on. Uh, so this is also one of the better games of the weekend. You got. The 5-3 and three Cleveland Browns heading out to Baltimore to take on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Right now, the Browns are 6.5-point underdogs in this game. The Ravens coming off of a, you know, a demolition of the Seattle Seahawks, uh, winning 37-3 to in that game. Browns coming off of a 27-0 win over the Cardinals. I mean, this game is tough because... For me, like, well, first of all, I, the Ravens, I'm picking to win. Now, in terms of, like, the spread, you know, like, the Ravens, like, you know, they've blown out Seattle. They've blown out the Lions. Those are two playoff teams at home. You got the Browns coming in, and Deshaun Watson has not played great this year. He just hasn't. But this is a divisional game. So this game can end up being close. You know, both teams are, are you know, know each other well, of course. You know, the Browns' defense has been one of the best defenses in the NFL. Um, but for me, I, I just, I, I can't, I can't pick the Browns. I'm going to take the Ravens in this game. I think they win by at least a touchdown. 
they've just been playing really great. They, they've just been playing great re- recently. Um, you know, the, the they've been running the ball effectively. Um, actually, we'll look at l- let's look at the defensive uh, the defense comparisons between the two teams. So offensive rankings, uh, the Ravens are twentieth, Browns are twenty sixth. Ravens are the number one rushing team in the NFL in, in terms of yards per game. Browns are, thir- are third. Points per game, Ravens are sixth. Browns are fourteenth. And in terms of the defense, the Browns are number one against the pass. Uh, Ravens are sixth. Rushing yards per game, uh, both defenses are about the uh, are about the same. Top ten. Browns are sixth. The Ravens are eighth. Points allowed. Ravens are first. Browns are third. So yeah, I mean the de- it, it's the, the defenses are both really good for these teams. Um, although it's interesting because like I mean the Browns just like couldn't stop anything when they played the Colts a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I don't know. I I just think uh, what's ultimately going to hurt the Browns is the play of their quarterback. Um, I could definitely see this game being close. But I'm going to say the Ravens, they they cover the points. They win outright. Um, I feel confident in them winning outright. I just don't feel confident about them covering, covering the number. But I'd rather take the Ravens just because they've been, you know, they've been blowing people out recently. So um, we'll see what happens there. So now we move on to another good game this weekend. And that is the Houston Texans going into Cincinnati to take on the 5-3 and three Cincinnati Bengals. Right now the spread is 6.5. Uh, the Bengals are favored by, um, you know, the Texans coming off of that 39 to 37 win over the Bucks. Bengals obviously winning on Sunday Night Football against the Bills, 24 to 18. I mean, I, I mean, I'm taking the Bengals in this game both ways, win outright and spread. Um, you know, I, I other than when the uh, the Texans blew out the uh, the Jags at home, the uh, the uh, the Texans have not been good on the road. They have not scored a lot of points on the road. Um, and the Bengals just look locked in right now. Joe Burrow's playing great. Because, yeah, like, once again, you go back and you look at the road losses. Other than other than the, um, the Jags win in Jacksonville, they scored nine against the Ravens. They scored um, 19 against the Falcons. They lost that game. And then they scored 13 against the Panthers. Now you're going up against the Bengals. You got to score. You got to score points. Now, C.J. Stroud's been playing great, um, and you know this game, he could go off, and you know what I just said doesn't mean anything. But you know that's just something to keep an eye on. He's been, you know, lighting it up at home, but on the road, yeah, it's been a little bit of a, a step back. Other than like I said, the Jacksonville game, um, but I, I just think the Bengals are locked in right now. Uh, actually, T. Higgins is not expected to play in this game, so that's a little bit of a, a concern there, but. Um, I, I think the Bengals, they win. They win by the the spread. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I've been I've been doing good the last two weeks, so hopefully that continues. Uh, so then we go into the next uh, early window game. We got two more here. We got the five and four Saints taking on the five and four Minnesota Vikings. Now I don't know if Justin Jefferson is going to play. He was cleared to uh, return from IR. He's taken off of IR. So well, clear. You know. Designated to return, that's what I meant to say. Um, so he may or may not play in this game. Um, yeah, it, this one's a tough game to pick because I don't really trust the Saints. But right now the spread is two and a half. Um, I think it went up to three at one point, then it went back down. I'm gonna, I am gonna pick the Saints though. Um, I don't really like it, but. You know, maybe they're starting to get it going. Uh, well, they I mean, they only won by seven points, uh, you know, getting five turnovers. But I don't know. I, I, I think um, I, I would probably pick them right now over the Vikings. I'm going to say they, uh, they win and cover the spread. But it's definitely going to be a close game, um, especially Josh Dobbs, another week under his belt, learning this offense finally, you know. Because obviously he had to learn it on the on the fly with everything that happened on Sunday, um, and I don't like picking against uh, Josh Dobbs in this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Saints also because I feel like a lot of people are gonna take the Vikings, so we'll see. Um, but I will take the uh, I'll take the Saints um, over the Vikings in this. 
Then we got the Tennessee Titans at 3-5, and five, taking on the 3-5 and five Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa. This is the final uh, early window game here. Bucks right now are favored by one. It's basically a pick em. It's tough because Will Levis has been playing good. He has been playing good. Um, you know, the Bucks they got into the shootout with the Texans last week. It is it's gonna be it's gonna be a close game. It will definitely be a close game, I think. Um but I'm gonna say the Bucks finally get back on track. They get the win. They cover the, the one. Um basically a pick 'em, like I said. But it's but you know what? Again, you can see it going either way. I mean, listen, the Bucks are not a great running team. You got Derrick Henry coming in. So the Bucks defense is gonna have their hands full with that. Also, you got DeAndre Hopkins as well to have to deal with so that's never easy um but i mean we'll see i mean you look at the so let's look at the uh let's look at the numbers here so you know defensively uh, the titans are 16th against the pass bucks are 31st so that's not good that's not good so will levis could definitely take advantage of that bucks are ninth against the run uh titans defense is 19th and then in terms of points allowed the bucks are 16th and the titans are 11th and then in terms of like their offenses um, yeah, I mean, the Titans are 12th in rushing. Uh, the Buccaneers are 30th. Uh, the, in terms of passing yards, Titans are 25th. Buccaneers are 17th. Points, I mean, they're both, you know, not that high up. Uh, the Titans are 24th, and the Buccaneers are 21st. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I think that should be a good... That, that could be a sneaky good game, though. Um, I mean, can the Bucks get back on track? I mean, they're going to need to. You know, if they want to, you know, try to win this division. But, yeah, I mean, it was – they could not stop anything against C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud picked that defense apart. And, uh, you know, now Will Levis, he's looked good. And if he's got time to throw, listen, he's been he's been force-feeding DeAndre Hopkins a lot. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, it is um, – it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. But, I, I mean, the Bucks have to win. You would – you know, like they really gonna lose. Uh, they really gonna lose five in a row. I know. Ever since I said, "Hey, are the Bucks legit?" I mean, it just it, it has been a downward spiral since then. It, re it really has. It really has. And and I and I, and I I'm upset about it because I want to see Baker do good. But you know that it. Uh, you know, it hasn't been good recently. And, I mean, they could have won. I thought they were going to win on Sunday against the Texans, but that, then C.J. Stroud said, nope. Went down the field in 30 seconds, basically. Took him, like, four plays. And, uh, yeah, that was it. That was a heartbreaker. Um, so we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, those are, the, uh, those are all the early window games. So, of course... Uh, you know, when we come back from our final break of the show, uh, we are going to preview the uh, the late window games. And, of course, uh, you know, included in that, you know, you got the Jets playing the Raiders on Sunday night, and you got the Giants with Tommy DeVito taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Um, so, obviously, uh, well, in well, for the Jets, like, they can win their game. Giants have no shot. They have no shot of winning that game on Sunday. And... Um, We'll get, we'll get into all of that when we come back from break, but it's just you lose your starting quarterback, and now you're playing against Dallas, who is coming off of a loss that they should have won, and um, that doesn't uh, that doesn't fare well for you uh, for the Giants, and um, but we got but listen like got to preview it, got to preview it, so uh, one more time. So, got the Colts covering against the Patriots. Packers covering. Steelers winning in that game. Ravens winning and covering their spread. Bengals winning and covering their spread. Um, I got the Niners winning. Jags covering. Uh, I'll just say that uh, in this segment. Um, the Saints winning and covering. And then the Bucks winning and covering as well. So, uh, we'll see how I do this week. If, you know, you want to take the opposite, go right ahead. Uh, but that's uh, that's what I got for this week. But I will say, subject to change, because, you know, things could happen this weekend, and I could say, all right, well, I'm going to retract that and do something else. 
So when we come back from our final break of the show, we will preview the late window games uh, for Sunday next, and I'll give you my picks for those. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 